Hello and welcome to Trade Desmo. Watch me as I pack these four long stem rhinestone wine glasses. A quick economical way that will be sure to work for your packing needs. Come join me. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that each individual wine glass is protected. And at the same time you want to make a good presentation for your customer. This is honeycomb wrapping paper that I found on Amazon. And what I like about this paper is that a little bit goes a long way. And this is how it looks like when you take it out the package when it gets delivered. It's in this plastic wrapping paper. So you just got to take it and unwrap it. And as you see, it comes with those 20 stickers that say fragile. So that's always good to put on the outside of the boxes. Now I'm just pulling the pull tab and I'm going to unwrap the roll nice and carefully. You just unroll it. See that's what it looks like and it's easily terrible. So I'm just tearing off the strip and what you do is you stretch it out like that. And of course I stretched it too hard. I ripped it a little bit, but you stretch it out and that creates a nice strong cushion for your project. And I bought these seven by 14 cellophane bags. I have a link in the comment. And I put each individual wine glass in the bag. Now this person who ordered these pumpkin wine glasses, she's a long time customer. So usually I put on the inside of the glass, I'll put care instructions or a little note about using the gem tack glue. I don't have to do that in this case because she, again, I said she's a long time customer and she knows how to take care of my glasses. But what I'm doing is ripping off this honeycomb wrapping paper. And you see, I just ripped off a little strip and I stretch it out and it just, it's enough for the glasses. A little piece, I mean, it goes a long way when you're using this type of paper. And I'm wrapping the glass with this honeycomb paper and for extra security I'm placing the honeycomb paper inside of the glass to make sure it doesn't come unwrapped during shipping now after all your glasses are wrapped your box is very important I'm gonna use a 14 by 10 by 10 box for this you want to make sure that your box is big enough to have room around it. You don't want to pack your glasses tight to the box because for sure it will get wrecked when the box is bumped. So you want to have plenty of space and since this is four wine glasses, 14 by 10 by 10, I'm using from honeycomb wrapping paper. I took off some pieces, stretched it out, put in the bottom. Now I still use the sheets of wrapping paper that like I did from the previous video and I'm still going to use the process that I used in another previous video which was wrapping the two mugs and that's recycling old cardboard that I had because everybody gets order deliveries everybody has cardboard and you can use that to your advantage and use it to help pack so what I'm taking is two cardboard pieces and I'm going to create an X shape in this box. I'm putting the cardboard together. Kind of hard to see, I have it in the corner, but see I, I put them together and I'm creating a barrier so the glasses don't touch inside of the box. It's like a protective wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put each because I've already protected the bottom of the box 
and you could use some old cardboard to put another layer of, of cardboard on the bottom before you put in the wrapping but I did not I put in the first layer of cardboard then I create this box X and I'm gonna put in each individual wine glass in the sections and lay them right against the cardboard because I want to make sure that it doesn't move. So see, I'm putting it in like that. I could have put it bottom up or whatever, but I put them just like this. And see, I have extra room on the sides. So what you want to do is make sure that you fill in all the empty space. I use a combination of the waffle wrapping paper as well as my individual sheets of wrapping paper. Again, you rip it off the roll, you stretch it out, and look how much that filled in. I love this wrapping paper. Ripping another piece off, stretching it out, filling in the empty spots. You want to make sure that your glasses do not move through transit. So the more the better. So I'm going to speed it up right here. All I'm doing is filling in all the empty spots with paper. Nice and cozy, nice and tight. I'm using the combination of the sheets. One good thing too about this craft honeycomb paper, it's lightweight. So your box won't weigh as much if you just used all wrapping paper. So I'm going to fill up the top now with the wrapping paper. I'm using the combination again of the single sheets and or the honeycomb. You could do one or the other or do like I am with both. It doesn't really matter as long as again you make sure that all your empty spots are filled. You want less movement as you can get in these boxes. In case if it gets dropped or anything, your glasses won't move and that piece of cardboard in between the glasses are going to ensure that it doesn't move and that they don't touch. Now I had to reopen the box because I almost forgot my invoice. So definitely put your any kind of paper or thank you notes or anything you want to put in there before you tape up the box, of course. So, taping up the box. I weighed the box before I made the label. I cut that part out, but I do have a link to the scale that I use in case if you need a good weight scale that'll hold a box this size. Taping up my box. Ignore the sleeping dog in the background. That's my little lazy baby. And here we go. All packed and ready. Thanks for watching.